Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Alexander Moisinko and Lou Shanglei. This is a game from World Rapid Championship that was played in Dubai in 2014. Moisinko had white pieces and he started with d4. Shanglei played f5, Dutch defense. Bishop to g5, g6. Let's take this back. One other game which I would like to show you went like this. h6 attacking the bishop. Bishop to h4. g5. Bishop to g3. Trapping the bishop. Attacking the pawn. Pawn takes bishop and how should white recapture? With h-pawn, with f-pawn or there is something else? There is something else. Check mate. So in another game, after f4 and e3, black was smarter and played h5. So if queen takes pawn on h5, rook takes queen. White continued with the bishop to d3, threatening check mate. Defending, it is white to move. How would you continue? There is a killer move in this position, and that is queen takes on h5 check. And after rook takes queen, bishop to g6 check mate. Black rook was overloaded. Let's attend to our game. In our game, we have g6, Leningrad, Dutch, Flava. Knight to c3, knight to f6, h4, h6, white move, to take or not to take. Moisinko captured the knight, black to move, how should black recapture? Just kidding. Pawn takes bishop, <laughs> knight to h3, h5, knight to f4, king to f7. Black King is going for a real walk. Perhaps not aware of a potential weight loss. e3. Bishop to h6. Bishop to c4 check. King to g7. Everything is going as planned. White to move. How should white continue? Is castling King said the best? Or perhaps there is a better move? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Be diligent and find the best move for white. Hmm? Are you ready? What did you find? Did you find this move? This is the killer move. King takes knight. What did white have in mind when he sacrificed the knight? How to continue to attack? This is how Moisinko continued. Queen takes on h5 check. This is awesome, isn't it? King to h7. Black did not take the gift. If king takes on h5, then check. King to g4. Perhaps knight to e2 or rook to h3, they are both winning. After f4, making the room for escape. f3, king is escaping, only to be checkmated. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game, we have this position. Check. And black played king to h7. Queen to f7 check. Blocking. Knight to d5. Rook to f8 attacking the queen. Queen to h5 check. Blocking. If king goes to g8, then knight takes on f6. Check. Mate. 
So we have bishop to h6, queen takes on a 5 check. Big problem on light squares. King to h8, queen to g6, threatening queen takes bishop, bishop to g7. It is white to move. White, play the move and black resigned. Queen to h5. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to g8. And then discover check. Double check. Check. Mate. This was massacre on the chessboard, wasn't it? Did you see the killer move? In this position. And did you see the follow up, which was the queen sacrifice? If you did, congratulations, you are very good at king hunting. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.